morning. Back in the workshop. Um, what we're going to do is add a keypad so you can punch in a four digit code and it will open the back gates and put the keypad on the outside. A reason for that is at the moment it's operated by you know the little clicker remote things. I've got one, mum's got one and so on. But if ever there was a problem and someone had to get in um, then we could just give the code to somebody over the phone or if it's someone like my brother who keeps losing things then you know you just lose the little remote um so there's uh, lots of reasons to be able to do that so have a look at this i recently bought a keypad uh, on amazon not very expensive and uh, this is the unboxing Ooh. It's very heavy. And there we go. Looks quite good. Okay, now I've located uh a converter that converts 24 volts which is what the gate system works on to 12 volts which is what the keypad works on i've got the instructions for the keypad and i've dug out my dad's <clears throat> excellent drawings of what goes on with the gates so the simplest thing first is this button on the keypad is going to remain as a doorbell button and it's these two pink wires here and it's just simply a button that goes straight to there so this is the um doorbell on the gate and when you press that button it sends a signal to the junction box north which I haven't found but I've got the overall scheme that, schematic that he did in 2010 13 years ago so if anyone wants a recommendation for the longevity of these gates then 13 years is pretty good a couple of breakdowns on the circuit board but mainly due to water ingress or ants or whatever Have you noticed I'm wearing my new t-shirt today Graham, thank you very much for sending that to me. It's uh, from our French house renovation. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Here we are in the kitchen. And you can just see the gate from here. My dad made this control panel. Um, and what happens is uh, you can open and close the gate by pressing this button. You can turn on the outside light by pressing this button. And there's a little flashing light when the gate is open this flashes the switch at the top however is quite interesting he's made it so that when it's in the house only position um it just operates from here all the clickers remotes but if you click it to house and gate when you press the doorbell button on the gate it automatically opens the gate so if you're expecting guests they press that and the gate opens let me show you okay so here we are this is the rear entrance but when you press this what it opens the gate like that so that's when it's in house and gate mode so we're going to use that facility and replace that doorbell switch with the keypad. If that makes sense. So, uh, in effect, um, that will be a method of entry instead of uh, instead of that. We 
put in a four digit code and it opens. Simple as that. Okay, so at the same time we're going to do this, um, I don't know if you saw my last uh, video on fixing the gates, uh, but we found that the boxes uh, had lost their waterproofing capabilities and were full of water. Temporarily fixed them, but now's the time to change them for new ones. So I have two here, which will change at the same time. So this is the south junction box and that one over there is the north um, you can see i've got a new box slightly bigger to make it easier for us so first things first let's get the top off and have a look inside i guess there's first things first take a picture because this looks like a nightmare and then we'll have a look and start disconnecting stuff. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me fear that You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here. So this red tube here goes to the garage and this one goes to the other side. Um, power for the gate probably and then power for the light on the other side. And then the telephone cable is the data wires. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we've got the new box on uh, put a bigger conduit to hide all these three cables so all you'll see when it's done is these here not much I can do at the moment about these I'll tidy them up later okay I've changed uh, the wiring put all new connectors in tidied it up a little bit um, and now I can see what we've got spare and we've actually got three little cables that go to this the other junction box over there which i can connect to to use the keypad so i'm gonna close this box up now put everything uh, back in its place test the gates make sure everything works as it should then we can move on on the other box um, and use that to um, open the gate so that's it for this bit, I'll see you shortly. When I get back from visiting Colin at French Countryside Life. So I'm going to go tomorrow um, down to my other house, stay over, uh, spend a day there and then go on to see Colin and help him out with some plumbing slash bathroom related activities. So uh, yeah. I'll see you on this video very shortly, but for me it's going to be a couple of weeks. Good afternoon, back in the workshop. Uh, back with Rosie, you can see. You good girl? Anyway, we're back. Two weeks out to go and fit a bathroom with Colin, French Countryside Life. Um, if you've been watching my channel or his, you'll know all about it. So we're back to the gate, trying to put a you call it a uh, keypad uh, on the gate so to, we when you when I left uh, we just fixed one box on the side and renewed all the connections so we're going to go to the other side uh, redo that and uh, put all the new connections into this box redo them all uh, and then we're gonna get power supply for the keypad so from 24 to 12 volts uh, by putting a converter, which we've got there, inside the box. Then we're going to renew all our cables. Um, that's it. And then update our diagram. 
That should be good. So let's go crack into the other box and see what it looks like. Okay, so this orange pipe or red as it was pipe goes down underneath the ground and comes up on this one I think. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I want to get a cable from here down there and up. I'm not going to believe this, but I think I threaded that through and it's here. Right there. Ah, no way. Don't ever. Let's, let's see. Mm. There we go. Through. I can't even believe it. What do you think, Rosie? Can't believe it, can you? So I can pull a cable through now. Oh, lovely. Okay, so I've got power cable, and uh, I'm just going to run through a LAN cable as well, just in case, because I'll probably do all the connections in here. So there's only one box. I've got to pull that through now. To the other side. Yes. All right, that's all we've done with new connectors, as you can see. Uh, I'll just show you. I've got this. Uh, Cat5 cable so I could loop it in straight down this box and in, into the other one and this is where the new keypad's going to go so I can wire it all from the other box so I don't need to bother with this okay I just tested the gates they open fine and um, so what we're going to do now is take this box off and see what's behind here we go so it's just a switch um, And I think, yeah, my dad, hold on, it's just, just, yeah, hold on, there we go, so my dad changed the neon in there, because it's supposed to be a main switch, changed it for a LED, which is pretty cool, so we can take all this out now, don't need that anymore. Yeah, that should work. The screen. There we go. So I'm just going to tighten that up there. Uh, you do see this bit of cable instead of being it drilled all the way through, but. Right, we're all wired in. Uh, guess we better test it out, see if the keypad works. But I'm going to put this one inside and then we'll test it out. Right, let's power it up, see what happens. And we should get the lights light up. Yeah. Press the gate normally. So. so that works. Let's have a look. Keypad is there. Okay, here we go. So, still have to angle these gates properly if <laughs> I get to it. So we've got a nice little keypad here now. Uh, and all we do is type in the number. And hash. And that opens. If we put the code in again, it'll shut. 
and that is the doorbell button. So if you press that, it rings inside. So that's it then. Um, that's it for this video. If you found this mildly entertaining, you can give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, or you could even buy me a coffee. Um, I'd just like to say thanks to Shona for uh, buying me a coffee. Any money that I get from that, I'm going to put to equipment to do better videos. So I've already bought a new stand for the camera and now I'm going to get a, a better microphone to improve the audio. So you can always do that. And have a look back through my other videos. Be something interesting there for you. Um, and that's it really. So uh, I'll see you on the next one.